All right, today I stopped sleeping with the fishes. <laughs> That's right. When I started in the aquarium hobby, I started putting tanks in my room because I didn't want to like infiltrate the whole house. I had about five tanks in my room. And then as the hobby grew and I started getting, you know, like hospital tanks and different kinds of species, it turned to over 18 tanks in my bedroom. I'm gonna remove my bed from this room, set it up in another room. Uh, I'm gonna try to make this my fish room and my office, but today I'm hopefully I'm gonna get two brand new tanks set up on a brand new shelf and use those to transfer fish over to that tank and then fish over to that tank and then fish over to that tank and try to get it until this rack is empty and then I'm gonna move that rack over. I don't know how much I'm gonna get done today. Let's see how far I get. Come on. I wish you could help me move some of these tanks. <laughs> So with the help of one of my daughters, I was able to get the bed out piecemeal without disturbing the four tanks at the foot of the bed. And I was able to set up my bed in another room. Look how much room I have for more tanks. Okay, so I just removed my bed. Whew, it was not easy. I was really worried about these four gallon, four 10 gallon tanks because that was at the foot of my bed. So this is where my bed was. Whew. So I'm gonna set up a black rack exactly like this one. I'm gonna move that over. Then I'm gonna set, these are too close. I can't get in here and work. I can't get in here and work. So I'm gonna set them spread out a little farther. And it'll give me a chance to open the windows in this room a little bit. And this is going to be my office. I'll probably put a corner desk here, room, and I'm going to put my Lazy Boy recliner right here, and I'm going to watch my fish. Let's see how this works out for me. trying to optimize space or just make it more comfortable for me to work on my fish tanks. I think I'm just trying to make it more comfortable because I know I could optimize my space better. This is what my yellow shrimp tank looks like now. My ender tank. I've removed some duckweed, duckweed, duckweed that I've skimmed off. Duckweed, duckweed, duckweed. So much duckweed. Give me some air. They got a little filter. Everybody's got air. This is still in the middle of the room. And that's where I put the angel fry. Right now it's on a battery powered air 
nothing up in that 20 gallon. That 20 gallon is going to be the shell dweller. So I'll move those tomorrow. So it's late. I'm exhausted. That's the progress that I've made so far. I got my bed out of here. I set up a brand new shelf so I could start moving stuff over. I'll, I'm going to move those two five gallon tanks. One, two. I gotta go right there. So then I'll have my angel fry, the two five gallon tanks, my shell dwellers. I'm not sure if anything's gonna go up there. And then this is where the black shelf is gonna go, that black shelf. And I gotta get this out of the middle of the room because it is so unstable. But I'm so excited that I'm gonna have fish room office and it's not gonna have my bed in it. Look at this. Very, very excited. All right, let me get cleaned up for the night so I can start again in the morning. Okay, so that was day one. Tomorrow, much more gets accomplished.